What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian with another Raid Shadow Legends video. And today is the day. You are just done with free to play. Your uncle that you haven't seen for many, many years, the only thing you remember from him is he used to be fun, you know? He used to do this thing where he lights his farts with a match every Christmas. Hey, this guy passed away, just left you a fortune, a whole, I don't know, $500. And you decide, hey, what best place to spend than in the game? So just remember, this is no financial advice. I still live by rent, so hey, take that with a gram of salt, okay? So let's take in the shop. Let's try to find out what is worth buying in the shop. Okay. All right, so first thing you see as soon as you open the shop are the packs. Now, are any of those packs worth spending? No, not at all. I mean, first of all, that's something that Clarion, I don't know how they have not taken a look at those prices because they make no sense. Buying one Void Shard for 30 bucks, it's just not feasible. It doesn't exist. I believe the only reason why they keep this is because every time you have a sale, you think, oh wow, it's like uh, 10 times cheaper. Not like, uh, well, it's 10 times more expensive. Anyway, so don't even touch one of those things, okay? Next, bank. Should you buy any of those? Same thing, anything that you spend money straight on Plarion and pretty much that goes packs bank, it's just not worth it, okay? Unless they hit you with, I don't know, an 80% discount, you should not be touching any of this. Gem shop. Okay, gem shop is something that you shouldn't spend, but you're gonna end up spending at times. Okay, uh, for example, one of the things. Now, silver is something I try to avoid completely. But again, remember, this is not money. Those are gems. But at the same time, if you spend gems, you may have to buy gems and then you spend money. So. But the only things I've ever bought on the shop using my gems are XP boosts, Demon Lord keys, if I had a mission that I had to, to hit a certain amount of damage and with the last couple of hours I would not get a refill key and I had to do, and even so that was way in the beginning. Okay, avoid doing those uh, and you don't have to come to the shop. You can just click on the keys and it's gonna say if you want to do it again, you have to pay a hundred. Uh, one thing that eventually I end up buying, uh, mostly if I really, really need those couple of extra points to complete a fusion or anything on Champion Chase, it will be the big chart pack. Not the best thing to buy, but if you gotta buy, probably you're gonna end up being something like that. And the XP, XP boosts. If you ran out, you want to level your characters, uh, your champions on campaign, for example, you definitely want to have the XP boosts going at the same time. And full energy, but need to need on a need basis. All right. Next one's daily progression. Okay, those a lot of times are pretty good, uh, but only a couple of them really. So. One of the things you can't think about actually purchasing, I wouldn't go for the monthly pack. I heard some people saying, yes, they do buy this one. I really don't think it's worth it. Even yes, two sacreds, that's great. But to be honest, I get over 10 sacreds a month just by running uh, Demon Lord, for example. So, oh, and Doom Tower, sorry. So let's skip this. Mini Mix pack, definitely not worth it. Uh, Hellbirth skin. Skin, 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 skin is pretty much like any game. You want your champion to look different? Hey, spend money. That's it. Daily jam pack. Now, daily jam pack. If you want to spend your money, it's $99.99. Yes, not bad to get over 2,000 jams throughout the month. Uh, I would say most players will actually purchase that. I haven't this month. I probably want. Uh, my main account is actually going free to play, so yeah, not touching it right now. But 
If you gotta spend something 10 bucks, yes, that's a, a well spent $10. Next one, daily energy pack. Yeah, not too bad. I would say uh, also a good buy. A lot of those daily packs, they spread through the whole month or through the whole week, or two weeks in this case. They're not too bad. Now, most of you know, uh, there's a fusion coming up. You're gonna have to level your, your champions, a lot of that stuff. Probably not such a bad buy, it's 20 bucks. Uh, if you actually add up, any any of the others really end up being the same promotion now one thing to keep in mind is oh yeah you're getting 20 multi battle attempts but you're only 20x not 50. okay sacred founder i uh, stay away from that uh if you guys buy any of those that i said don't buy let me know and let me know why you guys do it beginner progress i have not touched any of the progress ones I don't think they're the best buy. I mean, they're really expensive. I think they should be probably half the price. Um, I think if they were half the price, everybody would be buying. As it is, probably a very small percentage do. Now, jumping into rate cards. Rate cards buy. If you want to spend some money on something, definitely, uh, I believe it's $9.99 for a silver rate. What pretty much silver rates just one month instead of the gold rate card what is six months so you got it like a ten dollar discount those are really good because you get 20 percent more xp and silver uh you get 70 extra multi-battle attempts in dungeons and campaigns every day and this really helps your progression uh in the most silver you're gonna run out all the time it's good to be able to go into that plus 70 if you guys are playing mobile if you guys are not using blue stacks and the raid shadow legends helper uh probably those 75 would help a lot oh 70 seven multi battles more all right but they would help a lot they do help me um yeah goodbye limited special offers uh all right so most of those as an advice go to the hell hates website i'm gonna try to remember to leave the link below uh, it has a, a, a kind of like pack analyzer where you put how much it costs and how much uh, and what you have in the pack and it pretty much tells you if that's a good buy or not. Now, my person, myself, the only things I usually buy, I never buy shards, well, almost in here I may buy a couple of shards, but not my thing. Books, I haven't bought any books. So, special offer pack, I would skip. And those are usually really bad for the most part. Um, Ultimate Power Bundle. Mm, kind of not the greatest. Not too bad, but I still feel like 22 shards, unless you know something's coming up that you're really gonna need the Ancients, I would just skip. Supreme Shard Bundle. Also, one shard for 20 bucks, not my thing, not gonna buy. 35 bucks for 13 voids, also, nope, skip. Energy booster pack, that's usually, I, if I'd say what I bought the most towards my whole time in the game, for my whole time in the game, it was probably energy, for one main reason. If you get energy, you're gonna get silver, right? You run dungeons, you sell a lot of the equipment. You also level your characters. If you have any uh, food champions, you can get scrolls in the mentor. You can get everything you need. So usually if I ever to buy stuff, that's something I sometimes think about buying. For the most part, you don't have to. It all depends on which type of uh, tournaments you enter. Uh, or at least commit to so not a bad buy but also you kind of have to stay away the, it's pretty much a fair price it's not in the bean it's not a great price it they rarely change and the most if you're used to buy um, so yeah kind of if you really need not a bad not a horrible horrible buy let me put it like this hero coin bundle hello wells and crackers 
Krakens. Not cr calm down, guys. Don't cancel me for that. I mean, Krakens. All right, so yeah, that's more for then. Uh, the only time you buy, let me say, if you're like really close to get the five star, so sure, go ahead. I mean, five star so gonna carry so far that may be worth for you buying those coins. Uh, but for the most part, I try to avoid them. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, oh well. Personal pack builder. Those things, they look really good. Uh, but they're not. Not all the time. Sometimes they are. In this case, for example, if I was going to get just energy, for example, right? So, right here I have a 3250 for 2999. It's not that great because if I come in here to energy booster, I would actually get a lot more just on this. So, I don't know. Not. At least this offer doesn't seem to be great. There's nothing here that I really see as it's worth 30 bucks. Regeneration sets. Oh my god, one of the best sets in the game. Where you have zero control about the stats. So, never in your life buy a set pack. I'm just saying. I mean, you do you. You have a lot of money to burn, go ahead. That's the worst value you can ever get. Plus, you only get one legendary chaos, chaos ore. So you can only re-roll one piece of equipment. So let me say, if you have flat stats in all three in the bottom, you're done. Okay? You have to buy another one. Now it's 60 bucks. Trust me, you spend the same in energy and you run the Fire Knight, you will get the same equipment two or three times over. Okay? Do not buy sets. You do you. Artifacts. You want to buy artifacts, go ahead. Uh, you, have, you have extra money. Don't have the time, just spend it all. But, for the most part, don't do it. Chart Selection. That's another one. Uh, you do you. But really, in this case, for example, like I said, the flat price, for example, of this would be about 20 bucks, right? So five bucks, you get four chickens and 10 brews. This is nothing. You spend 29 on energy, you can do a lot more with that. Uh, this is a horrible price. I would never spend that. Now, if you never spent in the game, you may get sometimes the Warrior Circle, I believe, uh, packs, they, those are usually great. Usually, uh, the offers you have, you're going to be paying nothing for a lot. So, a lot of times the best thing is, even if you're a low spender account, like my case, I don't get good anything, because two weeks ago I spent $9. So the game knows, oh, he's back spending, let me uh, give some uh, horrible offers on his way. <laughs> Yeah, so that's pretty much how the game works. So, avoid spam if you can. And, you know. I don't know what to tell you. Most of those offers are horrible. That's why a lot of people get frustrated in the game. That's why I have one account that I barely spend on. And I have like a dozen for each play. Anywho. Anyway, guys. Uh, that's my opinions in Watch by the Shop. So, if you guys have any other ideas, if you see any offers that, that you think I missed, or anything that you always buy in the shop that you think it's worth letting me know in the comments, thank you very much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the game.